What's up guys, in this video we're going to be making a cache GUI for our player inside of Roblox Studio. The first thing that we're going to want to go ahead and do is inside of Starter GUI on the right in the Explorer tab is just click on the plus icon to the right of Starter GUI and insert a Screen GUI. In this Screen GUI we're going to rename over to our cache GUI just like that and then inside of here click on the plus icon one more time and we're going to add in a frame just like this and then you can feel free to customize this however you want to I'm gonna make it a little bit longer and a little bit smaller just like this and I'm gonna put it right about in the middle of our screen next off you can feel free to color it I'm gonna choose to add in a UI gradient into my frame right here and this will allow us to add a gradient to our frame here and all you need to do is inside of the properties of your UI gradient is just where it says color you click on it and then there will be three dots in the corner right here you click on this and now you have two little sliders that you can adjust you click on one slider right here click on the color button and you can make this whatever color you want to and then you can click on this slider over here click on the color button and then change it to whatever color you want to once again that kind of gives this really cool gradient and i'm going to rotate it about 90 degrees or actually ni negative 90 degrees Next, you can add in a UI corner if you would like to, just to get that nice little corner radius around your square right here, and that should be good. Next off, uh, you can just go ahead and click on the plus icon one more time to the right of the frame and add in a text label. This text label we are going to be using in order to actually tell the player how much cash they have. It's going to display right here where the text is, and we can feel free to customize this one more time. I set the background transparency to 1 so that we get rid of that background and then I'm going to change the size to 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0 that way it'll take up the entire size of the frame then you want to come down here over to text scale so that that text is a little bit bigger I'm going to change the font to Fredoka 1 and I'm going to change the text color over to white next all that we need to do is just rename this text label over to our cache display just like that and the frame we can leave at frame. Next inside of our cache GUI screen GUI we want to click on the plus icon and add in a local script. When you add in the local script into your GUI you should see this little window take up your entire screen. Now we're going to add in a little bit of code here that's going to basically display our cache, our player's cache I mean. So we're going to want to start off by getting the player which will be local player is going to be equal to game dot players dot local player and then we're going to say player dot leader stats dot cash dot value dot changed we're going to connect function right here parentheses and then we're going to go down a line you should see an end with another parenthesis right here at the end and then we want to say script dot parent dot frame dot cash display dot text will be equal to player.leaderstats.cache.value and then right here before our player.leaderstats.cache.value we want to put quotation marks, dual quotation marks just like that we want to do a dollar sign and then after our quotation marks we want to say dot dot and this will concatenate this value right here to our string right here and all that's going to do is add a little dollar sign right in front of our player's cat. Next off we just want to go right up here we can copy this line and then paste it right up here that way it will constantly display the cache right here whenever their cache value changes and we're doing it right here so that way even though their cache won't change immediately we want to make sure that their cache is displayed correctly when they join into the game let's go ahead and see if it works so as you can see when I join in, since I have zero cache right here, it is going to reflect that zero cache to my zero cache GUI. And then let's say I claimed my tycoon and started getting some droppers going real quick. Alrighty, I accidentally made a mistake here. Instead of staying player.leaderstats.cache.value.change, we want to say just.cache.change. 
this is basically saying whenever our cash value whenever our cash value makes a change whether that means that our cash gets added or decreased from the player or subtracted i mean to say then we're going to connect a function off of that so let's go ahead and click on play so joining in the game you can see i have zero cash if i were to join right now you can see that i now have 85 cash because my cash loaded in thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video just as much as i did make sure you like subscribe and comment down below i'll see you in the next video Thank you.